show us what you did as your final project. Well, the uh, project uh, has different parts, but now I will just showcase a brief demonstration of how the communication between the ROS node, which controls the, the linear drives, communicates with the PLC and how the PLC reacts to the message received. Here you can see the, the communication module of the PLC program running right now. And what I will do is send using these uh, sliders, I can set a target position, velocity, and acceleration for any of the linear drives to follow. Uh, what this does is uh, take the values set in the, in the sliders, uh, pack them into a TCP IP package, which will be then sent uh, using a Wi-Fi network to the PLC. And the PLC will unpack that, that information, store it into the desirable variables, and then send, in, send them to the motion control module of the, of the PLC so that the, the linear drives will respond to that. Sure. Right now, with the values I currently have, if I run this first uh, button, uh, the, the first uh, rail will move slowly to an intermediate position right now, 1,000, which is marked right there. So you can see it. So just to say everything here is running from ROS. Yes. So ROS is there. And now to, to show how these sliders really modify the velocity and acceleration parameters, as you can clearly see, the second linear drive will move at a much faster speed with much higher acceleration. And you could see it right now when I run this. And this is a brief explanation of this particular case, of mm -hmm. how the control module in ROS can communicate to the PLC. Sure. Can it do something else? Yes, it also can, uh, receives in real time uh, the current status of the, the servo motors in running, running mm -hmm. the linear drives. And you can see here in this graph how the main working is, mm -hmm. is going on. This mm -hmm. is the, the main node which mm -hmm. communicates, which functions as a bridge between ROS and the PLC. Mm -hmm. And it is receiving from these two topics, the, no, sorry, from these two, it's publishing, sorry, sure. it's publishing the current position, position, velocity, and torque in the servo motors mm -hmm. to these two topics. Then the control node is receiving it, can process it, and then mm -hmm. create a control parameter as a response to it. Sure. Right now we can see that these control parameters are being sent both to the back to the main ROS PLC bridge node and also to a VREP ROS node, which is a simulation which is being run in parallel. We can see it here. And right now this is uh, also receiving the same control parameter. So this so is like mirroring the behavior yeah, of the it, actual one. It's right? mirroring it. So oh. if I now just send another one, we could we could see that they both respond equivalently to a control parameter. Oh, sorry. So, for example, this, which is store number one, will move back to how it, where it was at the beginning, a little bit faster this time, a bit more acceleration. So both the real rail and the simulated one are moving. Yeah, sure. Great work. Thanks. Thank you.